so today we will discuss about the superficial and deep palmar arch so these are the arteries in the hand and they are continuation of the radial and the ulnar arteries okay or you can say these are the terminal part of the ulnar and the radial artery which artery ulnar plus radial okay and these two arteries will continue in the hand and forming like a arch there will be superficial and deep palmar arches first we will discuss about the superficial palmar arch and so that we have to understand about the ulnar artery okay so this is the ulnar artery on the this is the ulnar side this is the radial side or you can say this is the lateral side and the medial side so medial side you will find out which artery ulnar artery okay so ulnar artery when it is entering into the hand it is passing above the flexor retinaculum it is passing above the or superficial to the flexor retinaculum and after passing through that it is dividing into the one is the superficial branch that is going continuously and one is the deeper branch okay so superficial branch will take part in the superficial palmar arch and deep branch will take part into the deep palmar arch okay so forget about the deep branch now first we will discuss about the superficial palmar arch so you have to remember ulnar artery is giving the superficial branch and the deep branch so first we will see how superficial palmar arch is formed okay and this is a continuation superficial palmar arch is a continuation of the ulnar artery okay and it is making like a arch in the palm you can say this this convexity is toward the fingers and if you will see on the lateral side it is completed by the radial artery which branch superficial palmar branch of the radial artery so this is the radial artery this is going that is the deeper branch and one this is the superficial palmar branch of the radial artery so like that this arch is completed so this is the superficial palmar arch so you should remember the main contribution in the superficial palmar arch is by the ulnar artery if you will see the relations the superficial palmar arch lies deep to the palmar aponeurosis and superficial to the long flexor tendons now see the branches it will give the three common digital branch 1 2 and 3 and one proper digital branch and these common digital branches again they will divide into the proper digital branch these are the proper digital arteries so now you can say the superficial palmar arch supplying the 1 2 3 and half fingers or digits and this common digital arteries they are also joined by the 3 1 2 and 3 palmar metacarpal arteries now we will discuss about the deep palmar arch deep palmar arch as you know main contribution is by the radial artery radial artery is having this is the deep branch this is the superficial branch superficial branch already we have studied it will take part into the superficial palmar arch and deep branch is going and passing through the anatomical synapse box 
then it is going toward the first interosseous space dorsal side and then it will appear into the palm. After entering into the palm, it is giving one branch to the thumb that is the princeps pollicis artery and one other branch is running toward the radial side of the index finger and that is known as the radial indices artery. Now this deep palmar artery or deep palmar arch is a continuation of the deep branch of the radial artery and the medial side it is completed by the deep branch of the ulnar artery. So like that this is the deep palmar arch and deep palmar arch lies deep to the long flexor tendons. Now what are the branches? Already we have discussed it is giving the three palmar metacarpal arteries which will join to the common digital branches of the superficial palmar arch. It is also giving the perforating digital artery. Perforating digital arteries which will anastomose with the dorsal metacarpal arteries. It will also give some recurrent arteries. recurrent branch. They will supply to the carpal bones and joints around that. So this was about the superficial and deep palmar arteries.